Guys, this is, this is Summer Games is a service fest, all right? This Summer Games is a service fest. This is not a Summer Game Fest. If you think you're going to get any reveals, Jeff Keighley and every other uh, press outlet said we're not going to, just so you know. So everybody manage your expectations. <laughs> this is Summer Games is a service fest. Summer Games is a service fest. These are, we're going to get reveals that are updates to already existing games. Just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> also, uh, Jeff Keighley is charging $250,000 per large game reveal. If there are any. Just so you are aware. He charges a lot of money for, what is it? Was it a minute or 30 seconds, Lawrence? Did you read that article? It was a minute. Yeah. minute. 250K. And I was like, you know what? Lawrence and I need to, maybe we need to crowdfund 250K for a one minute game reveal on Summer Games as a Service Fest. Yeah, 250K a minute. Um, and it goes up by, to there. I think it's like two minutes. Obviously, it's like 500K. And then if you buy those uh, that package or whatever, you get extra reveals, like 30-second indie game reveals and stuff. And I was like, damn. I was like, you know what, though? Jeff Keighley put on a show. I mean, the, the production probably costs millions of dollars to make the show. So. Right. I mean, I look, I just read what they what they wrote. I'm just telling you what it is. You closed the. Uh, I think we're set. What? Or shot, shot, shot reveal or the shots notepad so I can see the chat. Yes, sorry. No, that. Sorry. Uh -huh. that oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that go. Oh, windows everywhere. Jeff is a service. That's right. <sighs> Jeff is a service. I think we're set. I think we're set, folks. All right. What's our? What are our uh, rules, Lawrence? Yeah. Okay. So as usual. Wait. Why is that mute there? Uh, as usual, if we see Hideo Kojima at all. <laughs> If you you got to see him. There's no way he's coming out for Summer Games and Service Fest. I mean, but he's probably going to be around, right? No way, right? Maybe. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, if you if you get eyes on Kojima, um, <laughs> it's a shot. If uh, if there's a new AAA, and that is up for some discussion, but or what counts as AAA? We, but it, we can. Well, yeah, we'll, yeah, we will be the arbiters of that. A new AAA that's not a sequel, open world, or games of service. Well, we're not going to get any of those guys. Bad news. Bad news. The shot rules are getting harder as the years go on, just like our kidneys. <laughs> uh, and if there's a shadow drop of any kind. I think there's going to be a couple of shadow drops, but do updates to games as a shadow drop count or a brand new video game? Because mm -hmm. we're going to probably get some indie game it shadow drops. It has to drops. be a product you can pay for that is surprise launched at during the time of the show. So even it has if, to have an MSRP of some kind. Even if it's like an update to Fortnite or something, that still counts? You don't pay for those. Well, I know, but let's just say you have to pay for it. Oh. Like, meaning like there's a video game that's already out and they're like, we dropped a DLC and it's available right now for Resident Evil. I think it's that, $20. Does I that think count? that counts. Okay, yeah. that counts. Right. I think that counts. And then the drinks are much more liberal. If there's a QR code on screen <laughs> or, if, or if wish list now, usually oh they have to get We're going to fucking die for that one. Those are just sips. Those are just, those are watery <laughs> drinks. Uh, if there's cards... In, as any kind of mechanic. Oh in my a game. god, we're gonna die. That's it's a, a drink. It's just a every slip. indie game is card system. It's just a slurp. Well, we're not gonna get a ton of indies at Summer Game Fest, right? Nobody cares about those. Unless it's like it's <laughs> No, the, no, these are all indie games. That's already what Jeff said. Jeff was like, these are well, updates. To, it's Summer yeah. Games at Service Fest plus indie games. Yeah, yeah. That's uh the point of the rules is to lightly satire the the movements of the games oh, industry. I know, I'm just kidding around. I'm just kidding. Oh, I need to open some windows. Is it, oh, I'm already getting warm. We got forty five seconds. Till Jeff comes out. Oh, uh, why are they here? Wait, what is that? Oh, yeah. That's a, like a, an influencer or a celebrity. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's an influencer celebrity that arrives and both Lawrence and I are like, what the fuck? Why is Al Pacino here? We, yeah. we yeah, take yeah. a drink. Uh, early access, which we're going to see a, th a million times. We'll take a drink. Yeah, if, if if they announce a game and then they're promoting like an early access window that costs extra. And then also a remaster or re-release? Oh my god. That's a sip. That's just a, just a little slurp. Well, I'm starting with uh, vodka Gatorade. What are you starting with? Uh, I got a... I got a Future Hop IPA from Voodoo Ranger that they sent. <coughs> they sent a long time ago, and I, I forgot, and it was been it was sitting in my garage. I poured that one way too strong. Here we go. Oh yeah, we should just do a shot to kick off the show. That's the other thing is just like a kickoff shot. That's not in the rules, but there it is. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to be a little sneaky and see if I can add a 
a button to make the shot. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff T. Yeah! We love Jeff. He made the Game Awards. We love Jeff. All right, here you go. Uh, ready? He's got like a velvet sh suit jacket. To Jeff. To Jeff. Look at those shoes. I've kind of got a jacket like that. Mm, not quite <laughs> like that. Never mind. <laughs> Summer Game Fest 2024. Hi, Jeff. Summer fest? Game Fest, not Games Fest, guys. Game Fest. We are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube Theater here wow. in LA. Now, if getting a lot of echo off the show, mic, that's weird. First of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form. And the health Only one game this year, Summer Game Fest. Fest. We have a lot of amazing games to show you. From oh, is there some echo on the mic? The world over the next I don't think I got it. Hours. <laughs> two hours, Jeff. We're going to die. That's too many games. <laughs> but let's also face it. This has been a tumultuous and difficult year. Oh, I should have had a layoffs. I should have had a rule for acknowledging layoffs. So now, you know what? I'll take a little sip. Here, I'll, I'll take a sip. I'll take a little sip. He's already moving our is evolving. It was rough. But, but I just made a million dollars. I know, but I'm charging $250,000 per game reveal. <laughs> Take a look at this list from Game Discover. Of the top His voice sounds different. New games what? Why? It's just Jeff. It sounds a little deeper. It sounds like he's done some voice training to sound a little more present on the mic. Do you think Jeff got surgery to get his voice lowered? Yeah, he got his, he got his vocal pipes no. widened. Jeff's been doing this for 25 years. He's an expert. His voice is pitched a little lower than it used to be. Maybe they, do you think they pitched it digitally, like auto-tune? Somebody's twiddling knobs right now. There's like a Jeff meter that's, he's got to keep twiddling. <laughs> Buckshot Roulette, I forgot, about, I haven't played that yet. It's really interesting, it's an interesting video game. Sustainability and success, and that's what makes this industry- He sounds more California. So, so that's what makes this. Maybe he's on many a, paths to success. Maybe he's either on drugs or no, no longer on drugs. We'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Batman, yeah. Harry Potter, boo. A few games made boo. I'm actually surprised he said Harry Potter. And first I'm, creators that I'm really surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised that Jeff did, did that at all. This platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So when you see a game that piques your interest, Please wish list it or even better, <gasps> send it to wish a friend list. and get them it's excited. Slurp. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. And we don't want to do that today. We don't need to grow the gaming community, Jeff. Are you joking? Makes billions of dollars. Yeah, that's not our job. Um, I don't know if the, the yeah. closed captions are interfering with our rules, but. All right. It all begins oh, right that, now. Here's our this is first fine. announcement. You can, you can make us smaller if you'd like. Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog guy auditioning for the, um, ooh, the lead in unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity! <laughs> this guy. It's a new Lego game, guys. Lego! Isn't Lego Horizon happening? Oh, for oh. Gorilla. That's fun. Oh, it's, is this Lego Horizon? <laughs> it is Lego Horizon. Yeah, okay. So this is this isn't a reveal. We already know about this. It's yeah. Well, it was rumored. This oh, is actually, okay, all right. So this, this is, is officially a reveal. But it's it's two existing brands. It's also open world. This would be was it would this be triple A? Yeah. All right. So we're yeah. supposed to take a what is a drink for that? No, 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 no. It doesn't it doesn't count because of two other rules. Oh, because it's not a sequel. Open world. Right, it is a sequel. It's an existing right, IP. Right, right, yeah, I get it. And it's open. Oh, that was a little Lego remover. Is Horizon that big of a brand? Uh, PlayStation wants it to be. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna make a show, aren't they? They got to. Exploring. Wow, what is this place? I mean, Horizon One sold like 30 million units, right? Yeah, yeah. Got that PC buff. And making a. If it's a shadow drop, now we're talking. Now we're gaming. Shadow Drop's only a drink, though, I think, right? Oh, no, that's a, that's a shot. That's a shot, baby. Oof. There can't be that many Shadow Drops, Wait, right? Shot is Kojima. AAA, it's not open world sequel or games and service, which, by the way, that'll never happen. Yeah. I got a lot of socializing to do at Summer Game Fest, Bruce. I can't be, I can't be low-yee. 
<laughs> I gotta get out there and schmooze and drum up a lot of work for inside games. Really? Is that what happens? Yeah. People see me bright and sunshiny and they're like, that guy. We've been to a lot of these and that never drums up. No, it doesn't. Whoa. All right. whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you guys will enjoy that. Does that mean hot dogs are confirmed to be in Horizon? I will not, but you will. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego. That was fun. Adventures coming out later this year for Remember, guys, whatever Jeff starts with sets the tone. So now we know what this is. This the second biggest reveal is first. The biggest one is at the end. Uh, he's not going to do a one more thing. I think it's going to be oh, and one more thing, a uh, Fortnite black hole or something. <laughs> the next game from Torn Banner Studios. We got him. Andrew WK is here. <laughs> To <laughs> 15 years too late. Yeah. <laughs> 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players start separate in the. Oh, he already said no. One more thing. Yeah, I don't think he. Again, Summer Game Fest is Summer Games and Service Fest. I keep telling you this. There are no reveals or very few. So and they're gonna get them all off the top here, and then Lawrence and I are gonna be drinking for the next hour and a half because of wish list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to wish list this, aren't we? Look, I love Andrew WK. <laughs> Zombies? Oh my god! I, I have to be jaded, guys. I have yeah. to. By the way, this doesn't. This isn't me saying the video game is bad. Okay, the video game could be great. I loved Dead Island. And that was zombies, and I played a zombie game one hundred billion times. That doesn't mean the game's bad. I just think it's it is a zombie. Yeah. Co-op zombie game. Holy cow. One of these days, every window will be exactly where it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, no, uh Bruce and I have been around the block a couple times. <laughs> We're pretty jaded. I mean, here's the Oh, that's a neat uh, Oh, I thought that was the name of the game. It should, yeah, it should have been called Permadeath. Um, a player co-op like Left get 4 Dead. The F off me. No, it's here's the thing. Bruce and I both love games, but love specifically Summer Game Fest is kind of an easy thing to make fun of because of its market position. That's right. It's right. trying to draw the big stuff, but it can't get the big stuff anymore. But it's trying to convince everyone that it is the unique... Oh, that's fun. No more room in hell, too. Early, Early access. access! That's a sip. Coming this Halloween. Looks really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. Kojima. She's been a huge fan oh. of some of our Oh, I thought it was going to be Kojima already. I was like, what? And of course, Final He's Fantasy not there, brother. Last year. Kojima she's lives in Japan, doesn't he? This year, she's joined There's yeah. no way he flew out from Japan for this. He's a student of the world. Welcome. Curious Joy. <laughs> Curious Joy? Is this a why is she here moment? I don't know who that is. I don't even know. Why would I say why is she here if I don't know who that is? Hey, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share ah. some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight. Is to she a developer? World premiere. No, she's an influencer. So anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. Who? I think I think that's a that's a why. I, it's not even a why is she here. Is it's who are they? <laughs> when it comes to quitting, they are. We've all wondered. Uh, I have what it takes to be the next. Not a white dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, she had to introduce Harry Potter. Boy, that's actually now Curious Joy is going to get abused for weeks online because of this. To keep your I think everybody's just kind of like given up. Have they given up? I, I mean, yeah, I have not yet. You know, you know, it's not given up. J.K. Rowling. Yeah, she won't she, shut the fuck she up. Just keeps talking. Yeah, I know. Too. She's like the worst. <laughs> but like, Hogwarts Legacy sold a ton. So like, oh, all the all yeah. the grandstanding and and finger wagging. What did it amount to? Uh, uh, the the highest selling game of the year on 2023. It continues to sell, and apparently yeah. they, there's rumors that it's getting remade already, or there's director's cut. Oh, oh that yeah, Rocksteady yeah. is is on yeah. port duty now. Well, yeah, that's because yeah, because they because the Suicide Squad failure. Yeah, Schwam. But you bet your ass that if I play this video game, I'm gonna get all sorts of people insulting me and calling me names. That has got to be a games of service game. Available from day one with PlayStation Plus. That's Harry Interesting. Potter, champion. Ah, I think of the new Dragon Age has any hope of being good? Interesting question. The Veil Guard? The Veil Guard. I think it might be good, but it. it's not going to be like Dragon Age. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It won't be like Origins, which is the only Dragon Age I like. But it might be good on, on its own right. Sure, yeah. 
His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite. And he oh, Choo Choo Charles was a great game. I played play that one. Played all the way through ago, it. And I really, really fun. wanted to debut it here. Oh, there we Get go. Get ready to backstab race or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends. Backstab race? What are you talking about, Jeff? Bust. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know what? Choo Choo Charles, uh, I, I said this over and over. It was like a really, really small indie game, but it was very well developed and very tight for a game, and I was actually impressed. That's always really fun to see. I was very surprised at how well it was made and for somebody... a very small in scale game. Yeah. Responsibly scoped games. Yeah. Are Bruce and Lawrence hiding chat? No, we can read every word you say on every chat. We're set up. <laughs> this looks like maybe Among Us a little bit. I don't know if it's PvE or... Well, it's like, it's like eight players. And I guess it's... He's just trying to break out of jail? Oh, maybe, yeah. This is... So there's not a rule for this yet, but I need to come up with some kind of phrase to describe the games that are clearly trying to target the, like, Steam co-op stream explosion. Flavor of the Week games, because it seems like, like... It's Among Us is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's an interesting business model because you can make a lot of money if you can launch on a week when nobody else has anything to play. Yeah, streamer bait games. The fact that it's co-op, I mean, that that's the jaded side of me talking. Clearly a lot of... Uh, yeah, these are streamer games. A lot of normies could play it too and have fun, but there's such a hook now of of making a co-op, uh, making it's, a co-op oh, game that's weed. memeable. Weed. Yeah, there was weed. There was prison soap. Cuff bust. Cuff bust. It might be fun. I hope I remember that name. That's a fun one, right? I remember that's <laughs> Cuff all bust. made by one person. All right, all right, all right. Again, a so uh, super that tight game game. That made by that developer for Juju Charles. All right, next that jacket looks hot. Most it's warm. Games is Star Wars Outlaws coming out on August. Oh, everybody hates this game, and I can't wait. I'm really excited for this game. I am too. Very excited for it. I'll be doing a 24-hour stream for this. All right, I'm very excited. I can see that. Yeah, Ubisoft is. They don't take risks, but they don't need to. With Star Wars, that's fine. Best. No, absolutely. Right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game. Just a small exclusive. Ah, exclusive. Lawrence, the what main was that transition. The main character's ugly, and I am She's not turned on all the time. She's a cutie. I need a boner. She's a cutie, patootie. and I need a boner right now. And I need a boner all the time when I'm playing this video game, or else I hate it. I, I guess. I don't understand how she can be hotter, to be honest. Unless she just had giant tits and like a lot of makeup. <laughs> Which is honestly she needs to not wear any clothes all the time. But she's got like a cool Han Solo jacket. And her face is ugly. She's got a cute face. She's, she's got, got a, a, a little a, bob. Her jaw is too square. She does have a bit of a strong jaw, but that's I okay. I don't even know. I'm just making shit up. I like a, a jaw that'll survive the winter. <laughs> jaw you can plant your crops to. All right, that was it, huh? All right. I think I spotted Lando there. So great. And by the well, way, I just noticed... Lando don't. Calrissian? I don't want a single... The father of the person in The Rise of Skywalker, who had the character, I can't remember their name. Here's stuff that we're going to get to play. In the remember? Lando Calrissian's right. daughter is in it. Moving back to smaller... In Rise of Skywalker. For, ago, I had a chance yeah. to play through this next game. Yes. I, I remember the, like, really the lady in the mech suit yeah, showing up. Is that her? So, the dude, the, 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 the one who is with... What's his name? Uh, Finn is related to Lando Calrissian. Rose? First ever look no. <laughs> no. Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I saw it once, and it's it was so much noise that I think it kind of got pushed out of my head like a bad dream. Isn't that just implied? It's totally implied. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm but, it, but it's But that was the theory, is that everybody was like, yeah. I liked Gree. Art game. Well, they really threw Rose in the dumpster uh, for Rise of Skywalker. I think she was in like, like two or three scenes. <laughs> well, that's because she got abused off the internet by fans. Gosh, I don't know why. I guess I know why. I, do I know why? I don't know. Look at us talking about Star Wars when we got this, guys. When I when I'm talking like that, I'm being sarcastic. Everyone, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not me being like, yes, obviously she's the daughter. Like, no, I'm. I'm <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm reciting internet theories that I read often. 
that, uh. that people like want to be angry about. So I love. That's why I did the whole Star Wars Outlaws main character. Like, why do I have to explain these jokes? Star Wars Outlaws main character is ugly. Bruce is just being the voice of the internet. Yeah, I think it's fun to do that too. No, I've been exactly re Bruce. That was basically my entire run at Rooster Teeth. I was trying to satirize internet culture, but people thought I was being sincere. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, it's a. That's one thing I learned is like you know it's a joke because you know it's so far away from who you are that it ought to be humorous, but ah, people don't pick up on that. Trust that Bruce. Guys, I'm, no. I'm fucking around. Bruce is watching Acolyte and he loves every second of it, all right? <laughs> Have you watched it yet? No. I can't wait till you watch it. I'm really, I'm really excited to talk to you about it. Such a true work of art I probably will. You gotta watch it. Fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the Day of the Devs on this. Oh, did they say Wishlist or Early Access in there at all? Did they? I don't think so. I don't know. I was just wondering. Yeah. I didn't catch it. Game announcement. World premiere. <laughs> no, they're not doing any world yeah. premieres. Jeff already said they're not doing any world premieres. Jeff doesn't get them anymore. If you would define the future. Oh. Uh, also, I had heard that Civ 7 might be in this, but. Yeah, they got it. There's a logo on the 2K side, I think. Let us all for death prepare. Well, they did for the streamer game? Great job. Oh. Oh, they this did. might be Civ. Sure, I'll drink. Let me not then die. This looks like a Civ. And without a struggle. No, we're not drunk yet. Why would we get pre drunk for a drunk stream? We would die. Let yeah. Some great thing. That's not fun. I do admit, though, it is a bit of a bummer when, like, each of us the booze really only starts hitting like an hour in. Well, here's the problem, though. We're going to be streaming for the next, f what, four or five hours or something? Like, yeah. a shitload of hours. So we got to pace ourselves or we'll die. And then also, uh, the next couple of days. Yeah, we're going to be drinking heavy on Sunday. I don't know about you tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we'll see. You should just take it easy, truly. Yeah, you're right. You, you're right. Well, because I mm. promised you on Sunday, we're going to get fucking tossed because it's going to be Xbox and PC gaming. Mm -hmm. And then I have to go to Ubisoft appointments afterwards. I'm going to be wasted there talking about Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, Civ 7. There you go. Wish list. list. August. Hello, everyone. It's summer. Sid! They got Papa Sid. Sid Meyer? The Sid Meyer? I like the implication that we should get excited for seeing civilization gameplay. I mean, it's funny, you're right, but also, this is going to sell millions and millions of copies. I've tried so hard to play these games on stream because I want to love them, mm. but they stream terribly. You got to put in a little picture in picture of like a TV show. <laughs> of Arrow or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> How it's made. Of Civilization 7. In the He's got his little grandpa jacket. Stay he does have a Mr. Rogers jacket. There was no fucking gameplay. You're right. It was just basically nope. a trailer. Sun Wukong game? Planet of the Apes? Is Civ 7 not a world premiere? I guess probably. No, technically yeah, it is. technically it is because I think it was just a rumor. But I don't think there are any drinking rules for that, so. Nope. There would be. Oh no, this is Dynasty Warriors. Maybe. No, no, no. Never mind. That's definitely the Monkey King. It is definitely the Monkey King. I would agree. I just saw the Lou Boo tendrils. And got excited. Hmm. He's got some thoughts. I will find my banana. <laughs> Are you my banana? You're making fun of a god, Lawrence. I am. He's a trickster god, though. Oh. Remember when Jet Li was uh, was a Monkey King? He was. Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Ooh, I'm trying to think of all the the PRC stars that have been the Monkey King. <laughs> I, Jackie Chan was in one movie, I think. Really? Shit, wow. I can't remember. Who was who was the Monkey King in the first Journey to the West? Boy, I have no idea. We all know that, right? Yeah, this main character's not hot enough. How come I'm not turned yeah. on? They hotified him a lot. Show your though. tits, Black Myth Wukong. How come nobody has a problem with Jeff taking money from Facebook? Actually, I guess everybody doesn't care about Facebook. No one cares about Facebook. Yeah, right? People Literally get all nobody. tossed up about JK Rowling, but Facebook has done much more material damage to our world. Also, and like Meta in general has so much money. They have billions and billions because they're Instagram, WhatsApp, all that other bullshit in addition to Facebook. Mm. Dude, I hate Instagram so much.
I mean, yeah, Instagram is unfortunately becoming the the platform of choice now. All the all the backend tools are horrifically busted. Yeah, though. they are. Yeah. I can't believe Stardust. how like broken it is. But mankind was given more than it Anyway, no more complaining about Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Not for now. This looks cool. But chaos. What is this? Corruption. Oh no! The corruption is on. I'm tired of corruption, by the way, in video games. But this is me that, being serious. See that ripe ass? This is me. This is me being. I I don't like seeing oh, when was that something turns like black, drippy, whatever mm. over the. And you have to shoot a ball. She's got a little buddy. What the hell that. is that guy? I hate that shit. Look at him. I I when you shoot a ball and the corruption goes away, I hate it. I can't stand it. Oh, this is once human. Huh? I think this this might be once human. Or is it? I played once human. It looks like once human, but I don't. Is this a new triple A? Yeah. Yeah, because huh. yeah, I played this is a. They, they keep doing open. The game is actually genuinely very fun. Hmm. But is it, it is exactly world? that. Shoot the ball, corruption goes away. I'm serious. <laughs> Gotta shoot the ball. Oh, was it a wish list? Did I, somebody said wish list. Uh, okay, all right. Does it count if it says wish list on the title card? Yeah. Yeah, why not? It's just sips, baby. That's easy. Yeah, where are all the hot dudes? How come they're not showing me loaded crotches? I want to see a giant crotch. Jangly pouches. I want to <laughs> see a moose knuckles galore. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Ooh, Space Marine. Space Marine 2? Then there is much to learn. I'm really looking forward to this game. Very much. Campaign co-op? Mm. Yeah. Is this a four-player co-op? Three, I think. Three, okay. Gosh, I can't wait. Three. So excited. Woo! So excited. So the only... Right, well, we got to see Civ. To summer game and then there was the show. Furbies breaking out of prison game. Come on, Lego Horizon, dude. Yeah. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy. No, it's not Kojima. Metaphor slated to launch this October. Oh, please welcome the Japanese director devs? and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5. Oh, Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Is this a is this going to be a remake they're going to show us, or are they going to no, show us a new, a new game? game? New game? Persona well, 6. This has already been announced, though. Oh, no, all right. Well, never mind. Whatever. Never mind, Lawrence. We tried. <laughs> that face. That was a good hair flip. I like that. It did sound really Speaking close to Kojima. Speaking in a Kojima, global language. Did you see that subtitle? Speaking in a global language. Love? And I am the director of Metaphor. Look at his shoes! Oh, those are sick, dude. I feel like he needs one more green accessory, like a bracelet or something. Mm -hmm. I thought Google's AI was good enough to translate this for us in the subtitles. Google's AI is trash, man. I, it's the worst thing in the world. Remember when it made uh, George Washington black? <laughs> Did you see that? No. You didn't see that? It's one of my favorite AI stories of all time. Oh, man. Where it, uh, Google's AI started turning historical figures like different, like black and other races that are not white. Oh, because they were trying to train the AI to not be... Yes. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it was great. That rocks. I love that. I love that stuff. No, nowadays is whenever I Google anything, it has a like AI answer on top, and it is wrong. It's always Most wrong. Most of the time, <laughs> yeah. because it's sourcing some random forum post from like eight years ago. That's right, yeah. I was trying to Google like the file size limits for TikTok, and it said, on Android, the file size limit is 84 megabytes. It's not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it might have been at one point, but... With a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. Like it... In total, like that was Google search. You would just see some forum posts, but you as a human could just glance at it and be like, oh, yeah. oh yeah, this one's good. This one's not. Yeah. That's just some random asshole saying things 10 years ago. This is like, this is like the game reveals of old where like they go out there and just talk about a video game and not show anything other than this yeah, bullshit this that's background. happening, that doesn't count. Remember when James Cameron rambled about Avatar <laughs> for like 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes? Yes, I do. Before the movie came out, they had him at the Ubisoft conference. <laughs> yeah, so was the... That was great. <laughs> he talked for 20 minutes, uh, didn't show a thing, and then left. <laughs> to tell you about the Na'vi. They're a vibrant culture. I got a song ready for you. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we hope rocks. We need more of that. <laughs> Hopefully there's a trailer, right? There's got to be a trailer. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> they better show something. <laughs> That is a persona. Eh, that looked like a reality is. These games, I have unfortunately not been able to play a, like 
a lot of them, but I love them. The more that I play them, Lawrence, the more I love them. And yeah? I'm like, they think they're, I think they're so much fucking fun, but I can't play 100 hours of them. Mm -hmm. They're but too long. I, I have a blast, and I've really gotten into the stories, too. I think the stories are very engaging as well. I've been playing through Reload again. It's fun. It's fun. I still need to play Tokyo Mirage Sessions. That's like the perfect game. You be a pop idol and you fight some dungeon stuff. <laughs> pop idol dungeon. Gather to your side. Why did it have an Xbox schwang in front of it? Is it going to be a Game Pass Day One kind of dealio? Oh, maybe yeah. You must acquire more archetypes. I also love the uh, art direction in Persona. Yeah. It's really cool. Their menus UI always has so much flavor on it no, compared to like. Western game devs just make the most basic minimalistic UI. Japanese devs are willing to put all crazy fonts and break the screen in half. You wield power now. I guess the UI is like 80% of the game, so it might yeah, as well look it cool. Is. It really is. But it's still cool. Really neat. Okay, there you go. Another title I can't pronounce. Metaphor Re Fantasia. <laughs> why the why the schwangs? Are they, they're not publishing it. With oh, us, uh, on stage, thank you guys, and for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're gonna. That's right, Jeff. Universe. You're correct. Batman Arkham Shadow is a meta quest through VR. Batman, you face a new threat: the mysterious Rat King and his cultist <clears throat> devotees. Oh, the Rat King! At the story, everybody's story, favorite villain, yeah. Rat King. Or Rat King. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to want to fight a bunch of rats in VR? <laughs> Why are we so jaded when we do these things? It's VR, dude. It sucks. You're totally right, Lawrence. You're totally it's right. It's a cash-in. The only video game that's ever been good in VR is fucking Half-Life Alex, And then also maybe Bone Lab or Boneworks. Yeah. But, like, it's a brand plus a type of game that had just a shitload of investment. Yeah. And it probably got thrown to some dev who couldn't get anything else greenlit. Well, speaking of Facebook, I'm sure they threw a bunch of money at this to put it on MetaQuest. I'm sure of it. I guess. I think even I think even Facebook's backing off of VR. Sony's dunking it like they. Re7 and VR wasn't too bad. You're right. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, but the only video game you should ever play in VR is Half-Life Alex or uh, Bone Boneworks. That's it. Yeah. The only two games I've completed in VR were uh, Half-Life and Re7. Re7 again, pretty solid for VR for a VR title. No, nothing like Half-Life Alex. So. I like that. I like that music. To destroy him. That's the uh, Conroy replacement. It's not Rat bad. King. Yep, no gameplay. How about that? Yeah, Beat Saber. Beat Saber is really good. Oh, Beat Saber is great in VR. But eh, I mean, yeah, it's cool. Like it's, but uh, whatever. It's just one mechanic. <laughs> At least it's fairly endlessly replayable. That's true. Well, that's just because Beat Saber is a great game. Huh? Hey, Curious Joy. She's, She's back. back. She's like, sorry about the Harry Potter thing, everybody. I'm getting angry tweets already. What if she announces, like, now, the gayest game ever, just to balance it out? <laughs> no, that's right. This game's for the gays only. And Boy Kissers 2005. <laughs> it's getting remastered, everybody. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to buttfuck your friend? <laughs> well, now you can. Thanks to Oculus Quest. <laughs> in VR. S strap on, strap in, and strap up. <laughs> I know these people. Is Street Fighter? This is a pretty gay game. <laughs> oh, it's Terry. We got some mashups going on. Yeah, this is okay. actually, this is actually pretty super gay. Yes. Why are we drinking? King of Fighters is gay. I'm for Terry. I don't know. Oh. Whatever. My! Now we got some titties. Is uh is King of Fighter is SVC Chaos back? She's not sexy enough, dude. Elena is very sexy. Don't I worry need her to be that. sexier. What is this? You have to say more though. Is it DLC for Street Fighter Six? They're adding King of Fighters characters. What's going on? Crack shoot! Summer Games is Service Fest. <laughs> Summer Games is Service Fest. Is Street Fighter 6 a game of service? Absolutely. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of getting there. Most fighting games have gotten there. Yeah, they're, they're adding new characters. MK1 for sure. Tekken 8, kind of. Yeah. 
Hmm. Who's that guy? I don't remember. Oh, okay. He's like different bison. Weird. Huh. His name is Different Bison. <laughs> They're bringing in SNK characters. That's interesting. But that's not what they look like in game, though. It's like animated. The Dragon Meteor Invasion. It's got to rebuild. Is this something new? Another Steam video game? How much do they pay for this? 250000 <laughs> It's 500000 per one minute or whatever, right? All right. Oh, I've heard of this, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Like a big scale beat em up action game? Is it co op or is it just a single player Dynasty Warriors ish? There really haven't been a whole lot of games like this. I mean, Space Marine 2 looks really good, but just. Uh, the new Dynasty Warriors looked cool. I haven't seen any of that yet. Yeah, that was on the. Uh, that was in. Did that get announced? Yeah, I like the art style as well. Comic bookie plus Nordic. Oh wait, Scott Scots aren't Nordic, are they? No, they are not. They are Scottish. We are. Uh, Lawrence says this all the time on Inside Games, but I think all the like really promising, cool stuff that we're gonna see is usually on Steam, and like generally they're like little small, you know, they're small little indie guys. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. That's all right. Co-op. It is co-op. Great. Well, also I can make Wish fun of this shit too. Yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Also, I wasn't turned on by the main character, and I need to be turned on at all times. Oh, Sparking Zero. Back. Okay, this is your department. I don't know anything <laughs> about this. Yes, you do. I've, wait, have you not watched any Dragon Ball? I have, and I couldn't stand it. It bored oh. the hell out of me. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. It's got its quirks. You should check out the, uh, the Brawly movie. That's got some pretty good beatdowns in it. I did see the Dragon Ball Evolution live action. Oh yeah, that's fun. <laughs> now that's a good movie. Uh, very, very representative, I'd say. <laughs> I really want to see Piccolo from that movie now. I'm, I'm trying to imagine him in my mind's eye, and it's funny. Guys, if you have to watch, oh, remember that. If you have to watch something bridged, it's bad. I'm just letting you know, it's bad. That's a bad thing. No matter what it takes, I need to rescue Gohan. Goku, wait. What? What? So what's the, what's the game? It's a Budokai Tenkaichi, eh? But that's kind of what a Kakarot was like. You know what I just thought of, by the way? Destiny 2 is the one piece of video games. Because <laughs> it goes on forever, and I can't keep up with the lore. <laughs> mm. Okay. I really want to, I want to even, I kind of want to start One Piece now that I watch the live action on Netflix. But there's no way. I'm not going to sit down and watch a thousand episodes of an anime. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, I still have colorful stage on the category. Uh-oh. Let me fix that. There you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October. That's right, Jeff. Everybody was asking now for it. Into the world of Delta Force. Oh, Temu is offering me an online part-time slash full-time job. Help e-commerce merchants update data, increase visibility in bookings. <laughs> Flexible part-time and full-time jobs that allow you to work 30 to 60 minutes a day. Cool. Thank you for the text message, Temu. <laughs> The situation at Lightning Strike is now very serious. Extraction. Between Havocor and Alsaragard. It's time to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the mandal brick located at the tourist. Collect and decode the manuscript. Is this uh XCOM? Utilize terrain for stealth insertion. I don't know what this is. Swiftly and silently. Generic? We're in position. Looks like someone beat us to it. Infiltrate. To pick up Just gotta drop. Is that a considered a shadow drop? No. No, it has to has to oh, oh, release has to today. Yeah. Right now. Oh no. I'm going to Issue Dragon Ball opinions are, are hurting people's feelings. That's not, it's written like Anakin Skywalker. Or I'm sorry, uh You're Padme. You're breaking my heart. Your Dragon Ball opinion is breaking my heart. Somebody in, in your chat said, Oh Bruce, you gotta give up on anime. You haven't Ooh, watched enough Bruce or some Scott dumb bullshit. Anime. I've been watching anime for twenty five years. <laughs> if you like anime, please acknowledge you have to it's going to be, life is going to be hard for you until you acknowledge that anime is on a different scale quality-wise, and that scale has shifted down. That's right. Yes, that's correct. Yep. The absolute best anime is equivalent to, like, a really good TV show. That's right. The worst anime is just, like, way down there. That's right. Thank and you, And a run-of-the-mill, like, enjoyable anime is... Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you very much for saying that. For some reason, whenever I say that, people get mad at me. 
You know what I realized, though? <laughs> the same scale applies to Godzilla, it turns out. Oh, absolutely it does, yeah. Of course. People just like... It, it just has to do like one good thing, and everyone's like, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. I like how much you hated it. I look. I didn't hate it. Well, I know, but you, you got overhyped on it. It was amaturely written. You got, I'll say that. You got overhyped on uh, minus one, and I got to see it in theaters. So mm. when I when I came out, I was like, wow, that was actually a really good movie. Like, surprising. Yes. Oh. Del okay. Oh, this actually looks cool. Lawrence, you and I are going to play this for is sure. Is this a triple A new IP? Uh, n no, it's not a new IP. I believe that this already existed. But. Yeah, the Delta Force games have been around for a but minute. But yeah, you and I are definitely going to play this. A million and, years ago. And have fun. This I don't know if this is an extraction shooter or if it's like a, a co-op uh, mission-based thing, but... Get down! Get down! But Lawrence, this is perfect for you yeah, and I. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love this. This is the kind of shit that we, we will do. Oh, is this a remaster? Oh, man. Mmm. Oh, wait. Remaster. This is a, a, are we sure this is a remaster? That's a slurp. Yeah, Black Hawk Down existed before. Wishlist now as well, so. Oh, that's two. And now... Black Hawk Down campaign remake. Hell yeah! Hold on, I gotta... Can I... Can I moderate the inside games chat? Oh, we got somebody? Uh... You can just do it with the mouse. Oh, I can do it from there? Yeah. Fantastic. I'll be timing people out. I think you can just right or click on the dots and then bonk people. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, who else? Bruce well, is casting the lines. Um, Bite the bait at your peril. You guys are getting old. We'll go ahead and get you ready. Yeah, there you go. How do you... We've seen Terry Bogard twice now in two different games. What's happening? <laughs> I used to have a Fatal Fury hat that I tried to unironically wear. Hell yeah! Whoa! Boing! This is a, uh, what's it called? <laughs> this is a, uh, Eastern game developer, not a Western game developer. That's why it's boobs, guys. Well, how come Eastern game oh. developers can't be like Western game developers? Rock Howard. Well, you know what, Bruce? Wow, they're making, are they re-releasing Fatal Fury or is this a new one? Hit. City of the Wolves. Huh. Um, but here's the thing, Bruce. Not. Uh, you have no right to complain as long as there is somebody serving your needs, right? So if you love big titty games, oh, Halo's back. Uh, <laughs> and Japanese devs are making titty games, then shut the fuck up and play the titty game. That's a good point. And guess what? If those games sell a lot, then your market thesis is proven. Uh oh. And you don't gotta you don't gotta dust it up on social media all the time being an insufferable dickwad. Uh oh. How about that? Damn, Lawrence oh, going Dolby. fucking hard right now. And again, everyone's going to go, you know what, Lawrence, I respect your opinion. And then when <laughs> I say this shit, they're like, fuck you, Bruce. You hated blah, blah, blah. And you're stupid and old. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Guys, so back get, off of Bruce. Get fucking banned, brother. Back off of, oh, there's a wish list. I love looking at this. I respect Lawrence's opinion. That's right. I don't know how it happened, because that, that was me for like... Oh, I don't I'm just kidding around. The it last only happened a little bit. Times. And then I shadow banned them, so I never seen them oh, again, okay. so it doesn't matter. No, I, uh, I'm fascinated by that. Um, the willingness of people to hear you complain about things they like. Because you gotta have clout. You gotta have some, like, you gotta have a soft landing for that. Well, we, we spoke about the Acolyte. You don't even want me to talk about the Acolyte. <laughs> uh, we spoke about the Acolyte already. Oh, and, yeah, that's right. My glasses. And, uh... My hater blockers. <laughs> These make me look smart. And we, I'm not gonna spoil anything about the Acolyte. But, uh... I really want Lawrence. I need Lawrence to watch it, cause it's so we can talk about it. All right, it's just like the first episode, right? Has there's, has two, a there's thing? two episodes. Oh, there's okay. Two. Yeah, there's two. And it's it's uh, Star Wars, man. It's Star Wars. Is it though? It is. It totally okay. is. Cause it's All like right. what, it's like when I saw the Phantom Menace. It's like the, that, Fan the Phantom Menace was Star Wars. Most of the Phantom Menace, I was like. Ooh, and then like some of it was like, whoa, cool. Dude, Most the, of it's like, ooh. <laughs> the first time I watched episode four, I was like, oh, New Hope? But there's some cool parts in it, and you're like, oh, okay. And, and then they start talking again, and you're like, Boy, wow. New Hope is like almost actual cinema compared to Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Oh, I think, I well, Attack of the Clones, yeah. I think Phantom Menace is better than New Hope. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I've never heard that before. If you like remove, if you remove the spontaneity of it, which I guess is unfair. It was the first movie to kind of hit a lot of those notes in a long time. Yeah, the, the uh, I mean, I because I think Return of the Jedi is worse than New Hope, right? Do you think that? No, really. I think Return of the Jedi is way better, dude. I mean, by the way, I love Return of the Jedi more than New Hope, but I think most people would say that New Hope 
Critically is better than Return of the Jedi. Really? People like New Hope that much? Critically. Critically. Huh. Whatever about audience score. I don't know. We've got robots. Is this mecha break? What is this? What are you? Reveal to me your robots. Oh! Whoa! Actual gameplay? What's Fuck the, me. What's the name of this game? I don't know yet. There was a logo at the bottom right there for Actual a second. gameplay. This is rad. Look at all those angles. I'd say this counts as a new AAA. Summer closed beta test coming in August 2024. It is Mecha Break. Oh, it is Mecha Break. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. Uh, is that a game of... Sir, sir, We're service? Back here at it's summer definitely going to be a game as a service. You think so? Yes. But it's like a, it's a mech action game. There's no way there aren't microtransactions in this video Next, game. Jason Blum and his Blum Literally no way. Become synonymous with incredible I think that counts as a AAA that's not a sequel open world or games as a service. Was it not open world? I'll take a it shot. It didn't seem... Well, I guess it had large zones, but... You know what? Who cares? Let's do it. It's early on. I'm excited. We'll to argue about it later. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, I, uh, I actually have an appointment to see whatever this is, so I'm excited. Oh, the Blumhouse? Mm hmm The first game from Blumhouse. Cheers! To Mecca's. To Mecca Break. Mecca Break. Dark times await us. Christ all. Theater of Idols. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> oh, it's... Huh. Okay. That's what we're doing. Farming? Wait, no, oh, they're showing multiple games. Okay. <laughs> I was getting fucked for a second. Lawrence's glass. <laughs> so these are just Blumhouse games, I guess? Yeah. They're publishing a raft of uh, indie horror. I'm going to be curious if, like... Is, is Blumhouse's curation more significant than any random, like, indie horror you can find on Steam? There's some really good... Yeah, there's some really good indie horror franchises that are made by one or two people. Uh, Chilla is one of them. Chilla's art, and then another one is um, what is it? It's not. not called. It's not called Fear Factor. It's Fear Something, and chat will know. Uh, but, but there are uh, there's a series of fear games, and they're great. They're really really good, and they're like an hour long. Sam Barlow. No, it's not Layers of Fear. It's something. Uh, Fears to Fathom. That's what it is. Fears to mm. Fathom. I played them all, and they're really great. Dark times await us. I uh, haven't stopped thinking about Crow Country since I played it a little bit. Oh yeah, is it good? It's it's good, but it's definitely like a PS1 era throwback. Yeah. And if you don't have a lot of nostalgia for that era, I'm not sure how much it would resonate. I do but, not have any nostalgia for that era. Okay. None. Well, I, I would even I'd be curious to see what you what you think about it because the look is really striking. Mm -hmm. They found a way to make pre-rendered graphics work in a 3D environment, which is yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird because since I never had a PlayStation 1 or 2 or 3, then I don't have any nostalgia to any of that stuff. So it's like whenever somebody's like, whoa, it looks oh, like yeah, PlayStation 1. Games. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full See, this is why we got to be at Summer Game Fest sparkling so we can roll up to Jason and talk to him and be like, Jason, baby. Yeah. Oh, my God. You got $30 million to blow? Great to hear the fans out there. We need to make our own showcase so we can get... You're, Jason you're Blumhouse's 250k. We just need to charge uh, $200,000 per 30 seconds because we can undercut money. Jeff. I'm sure he'd take Don't that worry. well. <laughs> I want to, man, I want to ruffle Jeff's feathers. I want him, I want him coming after me. I want to lose sleep because Jeff is outside tapping on my window. Jeff doesn't have the time. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's got more shit. Or the care to do any of that. Shoes and movies and apply it to games. And that's, well, that is, that's all you do. That's always worked. It, it works every time. Lawrence. Everyone who does that makes a lot of money and ships a lot of great games. All so. you do is just take a movie and apply it to a video game, and it works perfectly every time. Things they can and put them into really cool <laughs> games. There was a there was a, a window. I don't know if it's over yet, but there was a window where a lot of big dollar game publishers were hiring from movies because they just wanted to be surrounded by like what they considered to be celebrities. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Blumhouse movies, they come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So mm. maybe you're a fan of. I mean, more about that farming. Nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist. 
intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I like I her think, hair. You know, I like her hair and her jacket. Films, yeah, I like that. I like everything going on here. Genres to explore. I want to hear Jason Blum laugh again, though. Partners. Psychological nightmare. Look at that cool slouch he's got going on. Mm. He stuffed his crotch too. Oh yeah, he did. He wow. definitely put a sock in there. That's full. That's what I would do if I were on stage for the Summer Game Fest. I'd jam a sock down in there. You know what? No one's ever flashed tip on the stage before. Really I could be the first. <laughs> Eat it down your legs and have it roll out of your pant leg. I could be the first. Drag it across the stage, leave a little slime trail behind. Guys, I'm joking around. I don't actually think Jason Blum <laughs> stuffed his crotch. I, I Again, we'll see people be like, Bruce is so stupid. I'm like, all right, brothers. These are, it's jokes. We're fucking around. We love video games, guys. It's all right. When I run into Blumhouse wearing my fancy grown-up suit, I'm going to say, hey, nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Your bulge was prominent, and I like that. His hair is so perfectly tussled. So, uh, so you want to? You want to? Looks tell great. Us about yeah. So fear the. I actually, I don't think I've ever even seen Jason Blum. No, I, know, I, mean, really I read interviews and stuff. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. This is one of my favorite things that we do about video games. We talk about them for yeah. a long time with no footage. One of my favorite things. A little. Just a little. This is real. I like that it still lives on today. Yeah. You, th you think at some point we would learn. Awesome. Well, uh, and this is just the don't do this anymore. Future, don't talk about the game, but instead show it. Games. Guys, what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand. Thank you guys. I don't get it. Jeff needs connections, all right? And now, here's the world premiere of a world premiere. Power Rangers game with huh. a retro feel. Mm, it's a beat em up. Made by Way Forward? Hat? Mm. I thought that was Maxis's logo for a second. Hey, have you seen the Power Rangers 2017 movie? Lawrence? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so fucking boring. It's bad, yeah. It's it's like, it's not, it's it's weird because it's like- There's not, like two good shots in it. It's not terrible, but it's really boring. The first it's, third is pretty legit. It's two hours long, and they're not in the suits until an hour and 45 minutes in yeah. to that movie. It's like, the first third is actually pretty great. It's actually like a new kind of breakfast club, like all yeah, these misfits yeah. kind of get together. I like that shot inside the interior of the car where the camera's like rotating around. That was really cool. But yeah, then it's just a bunch of nothing. And the only good <laughs> shots in the entire movie are in the trailer, which is like the Blue Ranger doing like a kick. And that's it. You're done. It's, I couldn't believe it when I was watching it. I was watching it on a watch party and like everyone was like, they're not in the suits till an hour and 45 minutes in. And I thought they were joking. No. I was right. like, I got like, that can't be right. Wait, what was the gimmick? They have to like learn to believe in themselves so they can morph or something? I was like, that can't be right. There's no way. It's a Power Rangers movie. They got to show them in the suit at least an hour in, right? And they didn't. Did you know? Did you know, Bruce, in the original Zoo Ranger that they're all aliens? They're not teenagers with attitude. They're not at all. And the Green Ranger is the Red Ranger's brother from like another planet or something. Oh my God. Oh, you didn't know that, did wow. you? Wow. Oh. I got to do the, the spool, oh my God, for that because who knows? The Troll 2. Yeah. Well, there was a wish list. Oh, wish list? Okay. Dun, dun. What, so wait, what game was that though? What, uh, Rita's re, Rita Rewind. Sure, but what kind of game was it? It was, I think it looked like a TMNT beat em up. Oh, was it beat em up? I don't know. I could be wrong though. See, that's what's weird about some of these reveals, is there's zero interest in communicating what the actual game is. It's all just brand and image and hype. Well, yeah, but that's because that's how you get people excited about a video yeah. game. Yeah. And also... This, like, otherwise, they show this shit, and we're oh. like, oh, deer. <laughs> a little baby a hydrocephalic deer. Oh, with a big ass, apparently. But Yeah, I, I'm a... I mean, I'm a... I'm sensitive to the fact that, like, games in development don't produce good game capture. So it, it can be tough to market a game before it exists. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously. Yeah. But still, there's ways to do that. There's ways to communicate to the viewer what kind of game it will be. Oh, look, the deer grew up. Mm -hmm. Little antlers are growing. Oh, you're going to have to kill that deer at the end. You're going to have to snap its neck. I really hope not. Like Superman and Zod. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I don't want to kill my deer companion. The deer's going to get infected. No, no, a deer's got cool superpowers, dude. Oh, it's a Petronus now. You can't say that, man. You oh, hate sorry. trans people. Oh, shit. Come on. Sorry, my apologies to the trans... I'm Pride Month, no <laughs> it's less. It's Pride I'm, Month, uh, brother. All right, all right. 
What a beautiful game. I will Dear and boy, which comes from first kiss a uh, picture of Glenn Howerton later. <laughs> <laughs> alone in Wait, what was the name of that game? Deer God? I don't know. But it's neat that the Deer got superpowers. <laughs> Did he? Whatever. His, his antlers glowed. He didn't do shit, That's though. That's a superpower. Is it? I mean, my phone can do that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Kingdom Hearts 2! This is a first-person open-world action Wait, what? RPG from Warhorse Studios. Oh, here. Kingdom Come 2. Oh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, yes. We've already seen uh, 45 minutes of gameplay of this, but yes, it's neat. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. What's that guy's name? Like, Todd? Which one? The main character? Peter? Is it Peter? It's like Doif. He's got a weird name. Doif. It's like <laughs> it's like really boring for being like an uh Doif. <laughs> something. Like Doif that. is actually not Henry boring at all. It's definitely Henry. <laughs> like Doif. <laughs> I wish his name was Doif, I'll be honest. <laughs> Henry. There's only one other Henry, and that's Silent Hill 4. I can't think of another Henry video game protagonist. I mean, it's, it's the most British thing in the world. Although, I don't know if this game is British, even, so... Oh, he's got a... he's got a... Fade. Fades used to be a... a drink rule. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at that! Shit! That draw distance was intense. Oh, sex! We've got some plowing. I am, I'm really looking forward to this game. This will be fun. Kingdom Come was a, a solid game. I've actually, Tits! I've never played the first one. I gotta play the first oh, one. Oh, you would like it. Yeah, I gotta play it, the first one. It, it nails the, like, Oblivion vibe of being like a goofy, dumb, big, open-world, self-serious game. I love it. God. Is this retribution for my sins? I'm glad that they, they're getting to make another one, because the first one had a lot of ambition. That's what I love about games, is when... Like, there's the responsibly scoped games that are really interesting to see, but the games that try just a little bit more than they can land. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Oblivion was that. Come on. Bethesda used to be that. Yeah, it's true, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're, yeah, there's rumors we might get a, a Shadow Drop uh, Starfield thing. Oh, like a Starfield update? Or yeah. A, oh, no, it's, I think the Shadow Drop Starfield Wish thing list. is... I heard that it was only... Uh, like mods, Next the creation, the well, the creator the toolkit, creator toolkit, yeah. Keuchiro Toyama son. Uh, back mm. in 2021, mm. we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards. And oh yes, oh yeah, Slitterhead, Slitterhead reveal. Sounds like that's the, the worst Slitterhead slur in the world. Tokyo-based studio. So this isn't an announcement, but Slitterhead is a ostensibly AAA non-open world, non-games of service. Yeah, but it's not an announcement though, right? Mm. Doesn't have to be an announcement. New AAA. That's not a sequel. Yeah. It's not. You're new. right. I did put new there. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I'm excited for this. I'm big time excited for this. I am too. I hope it's good. It looks really horrible and disgusting. So yes. hopefully it'll be super super horrible and disgusting and scary. Something about J horror. They go places. They're willing to ask questions. <laughs> Americans are are like pretty prudish. Is it just me or am I getting Sam Lake energy from this protagonist? Yeah, you are. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, you can teleport into anybody? You can sperm your way inside of anybody's head. Oh, oh. Cool. You can slit her head into your way into anyone else? Oh. Come on, I'm taking off the, the cool specs for this. I'm going to get all the luminance. Huh. Well, this huh. is... I didn't expect this gameplay from this. So, okay. So that's like the... Huh. That's your, your revival mechanic? You go into a new human? Watch Dogs Legion tried this, and it was an interesting attempt. Except that game was dog shit. <laughs> it's music! Wait, um, Yamaoka's doing the, the music for Slitterhead, right? I don't know. I think so. It sounds like him, honestly. I really did not expect gameplay like this from Slitterhead. I thought it was going to be like a uh, tension-building, oh, like lockdown hallways yeah. thing. Yeah. We got parries. There wasn't a big resonant bong, but I'll that's okay. It's you know it's in it's in process. Yeah! Oh, he's got a blood minigun? He's got an extends minigun. This is very Cronenberg. And not like any any body horror people say is Cronenberg, but seriously, like a, a guts gun is literally literal Cronenberg. You can go to a dog! <laughs> okay. All right. I'm into it. Uh, a surprise, to be sure, but a, yes! a welcome one. 
Killer Bean! What the fuck is this? You don't know Killer Bean? <laughs> For real? You don't know Killer Bean? No, All I right. don't know Killer Bean. What's the Killer like? Bean? <laughs> 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 Shit, he dove out of the car. What's Killer Bean? Killer Bean is a animated short slash movie. That's what I call a dramatic interest. <laughs> From the, I think the stunt coordinators of the Matrix made a... a it's because what? I'm it'll it'll explain itself, I'm sure. Oh, I ricocheted a bullet <laughs> off another bullet. Really? Okay, well we. Oh, the Tomahawk <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Boom! This is just all '90s and early 2000s cliches. That's all it is. So Killer Bean is a. It was an animated short, and I think there's like a long. Look at this dude with his cool Matrix glasses. Until they lied to me. Yeah, they animated a coffee bean doing like a bunch of action stunts. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Do they ever make a game of it? I mean, besides you're this looking one. at it. No, no, this is this is new, baby. The Killer Bean IP is extending. Well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. Oh, this is Cyber Killer Bean. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she moved as fast as anybody else, but had the traces. <laughs> oh, games are beautiful. Oh, <laughs> this is the I like that we watched what an hour of video games, and this is the one that makes Lawrence the most excited. I mean, Killer Slitterhead Bean. was cool, but yeah, no, this fucking this fucking legit. I we're in the Druckmann era of games where they're also fucking self serious, and they yeah, have to yeah, convince yeah, yeah. you that they're about themes and art and. Fuck that! I want to be a bean on a skidoo. Early access. That's a drink. That's a that's early yeah, access, yeah. baby. Glad you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person. Oh, I know, Jeff. Shooter made by another single developer. Third-person roguelike oh, shooter. Single developer. Jeff Lewis, yeah, it's the one dude who made the Killer Bean stuff. Like the Matrix cool. Um, so fun. It's there's there's some a digital short of a bunch of Killer Beans doing a synchronized dance. <laughs> we'll watch Killer Bean after this. Don't worry. I can't wait. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to that game actually. I'm so glad you don't. You're just about to learn about the Killer Beaniverse. Studio Emmerich and I we promised each other to always. Oh, that's interesting. The index finger hook. Most people do the thumb. What are you talking about? He's he's index fingered into his blue jeans. Oh, I didn't see. Survival yeah, you can look at that. Oh yeah, ah, that is a weird ah, stance. That's manly. You get a, you is get all that, knuckles on display is that right there. Manly? I don't. I think it's the opposite of manly. It establishes a sight line directly to his crotch. He should be doing a uh, like a hip a hip thrust. The the bloom <laughs> hip tilt. His finger is cold. Is a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. You climb a mountain to go plus ultra. It never reaches. <laughs> And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. I do like games about climbing. It's very intense and realistic. You do? Yeah. It's a There's been a few, but... Like what? Did you play... What was the Firewatch? Did you play that? And what oh, yeah. I mean, I there wasn't a lot it. of climbing in that. It was mostly just like... Oh, what? there wasn't? It was white boy introspection, the game. Oh, Firewatch was not great. I didn't play it. Yeah. You can see more during the of the day. It's legit, though. Now let's have a look. But there's like a... I mean, we played one of them, right? The... You gotta climb? There's oh, all the, oh, yeah, yeah. The rage games. Typical game about climbing? Yeah. Did you see the egg game? Oh like, yeah, I played those. I played those games. They're oh, they're already impossible. Out? They're impossible. There are so many of those egg games. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they're they're like so hard. <laughs> Inverse kinematics. Yeah, Jusant was really really good. Hmm. That IK is a little wiggly, but hey, it's pre-release footage. No, this is this game's not coming out for at least another couple months, probably. This is the second strand cut type game. Actually, incorrect. Destiny is the second strand type game. Wait, oh, we got that thigh oh, because wiggle. of the strand. Yeah, <laughs> this is the third strand type game. <laughs> Did was it Kojima that said he was going to start a whole new genre of of games like the strand type game? I don't think he's wrong. But, but what yeah, other he did say that. type games? Huh? <laughs> I mean, by his definition, Dark or Demon Souls was kind of the first Strand game. Oh, okay. but uh, I don't know that he kind of did. I don't know that he did start a genre at all. I'll I, be honest with you. I don't know that any other Death Stranding type games. I think what he meant by that is the the like passive inclusion of other players' activities into your play experience. Oh, okay, all right. If that if that's what he meant, yeah. A lot of screaming, all right. Rah! 
<laughs> well, she cairn. Climbed, she climbed the cairn. There were cairns in Jusant. Well, there you go. I like that. I like that a lot. Kirby's <laughs> epic yarn was the first strand type game. Was that the <laughs> DS one where you had to draw the little? <laughs> I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena. Ain't that a shot? No, that's not a triple A. Is that a triple A? No. I'm out here Absolutely in the woods, not. Running a tea shop. So what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. And I've had to get used to the pretty right. tea machine they've got here. Good stuff. None of these tasks are all that hard. They're the world's biggest bong. Not <laughs> the patient type. But I'm surviving. Oh, of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. Is it a potion maker farming game? Seems like it. You can make potions and farm? Holy fuck. You can grab a big old penguin? That's a lot of potion farming. And do absolutely nothing. That's a lot. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. No, yeah, no quadruple A's yet. Oh, if there is a video game that comes out and says it's quadruple A, I'll take a shot. Good. Because nobody will do that. I'm happy. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to do that. The only person term. that will ever do that is Eve Guillemot, and he'll stop. never say that again. I can stop. It's a joke. He'll never ever say quadruple A ever again. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I mean, Black Ops 6 will probably be a quadruple A game. <laughs> I, haven't you heard the rumors that Black Ops 6 is basically only DLC for Modern Warfare 3? Well, that's. So I thought that was mostly related to its distribution because like, so the way it works now is new Call of Duties are not different Call of Duty games right, yeah. on any digital store. Which list? It's a DLC you have to buy and that then downloads inside the Call of Duty app. The next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming as you would expect from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait Oy. to that. Stanley right, Parable, man. The story trailer for I haven't played that. Nine. Wait, oh no, I did play that and I loved it. An adventure game that tells the story what an insufferable month of that was. <laughs> Bruce, imagine being a, a games Over journalist and the people around you play Stanley Parable and they're like, I never thought the games were like that. <laughs> and they've spent 10 years writing about games professionally. And they never once critically examined how games work or the logic systems that operate inside of them. That is weird. Yeah, you're right. I would agree with that. Lost a lot of faith in my contemporaries. They called themselves the Sahin. Oh. Among them were chosen. Oh, this could be this. quadruple A. <laughs> this, yeah, this might be. I'm into the imagery here. Does have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Dude, if some, like... If some has lived for hit slap in Indian music picks up, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's time we took in a good way. Is this Bolly? Yeah, is this Bollywood? Destiny. I don't know about Bollywood. Oh. Hmm. Why are you so interested in Vincent? Anyhow, hmm. is this Ibn Battuta three? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Remember stepping. This game's got style. I like it. And bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. She got a stand. That's exactly where I'm meant to be. There it is. Mmm. We're still Imagine Dragonsing. <laughs> I was hoping for something a little more killer. Oh, I was gonna say this looks like Forspoken, honestly. Unknown Nine Awakening. That looks like Forspoken. Vincent found something down there. Unknown Awakening. This is this a open Un world or games as a service? Wishless. Yeah. Unknown await unknown nine awakening. I unknown know. nine. I, I don't think that's a new triple. A is that a new triple A? Nah. Un. I mean, ten years ago it would have been considered that. I mean, I, I'm okay with it. There's a game called Unknown Awakening. Unknown nine awakening. Unknown nine awakening. What does that even mean? Unknown nine. We'll find out. Maybe it's like Sense Eight. Maybe in the first five minutes there'll be a wet dildo slap on the floor. It did look like Anya Chala uh, Chalatra from uh, The Witcher. It was announced back in 2020. What? Okay. Oh, it's not new then. <laughs> Somebody's got something to say about that. Somebody's texting me about it. Did you see Unknown Nine Awakening? <laughs> yeah, Sense8 was really a, a magical combination. I love JMS uh, and, and the Wachowskis. Gosh, I fucking hated that show. Yeah? Man, I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I, I, tried. I really tried to because I like, I like the Wachowskis. But yeah. I couldn't stand it. What did what couldn't you stand about it? I don't I think that the drama just felt really manufactured. <laughs> yeah. I, but I yeah. watched it when it first first came out. 
Oh, wait, is this that uh, Italian souls? Oh, shit, I gotta turn it up. Italian souls? Yes. I think this is the shit. This might have some ripping music. This might make up for the, the Indian trailer dropping the ball. <laughs> I like that you call it Italian souls. Pizza souls. <laughs> I am really excited for this game. Why? Uh, because the other trailer they put out fucking ripped. Uh, and also, it, the Italians are, are pretty good at music. Isn't it just Liza P, then? <laughs> Kinda? Maybe? I mean, it just feels to me like Liza P, but, eh, you know. Whatevs. Liza P is French. What? <laughs> Geppetto? I don't know. I Pinocchio? I didn't get very far. <laughs> I, I believe far. that it's made by French developers, but yeah. I guess that there are Twitch drops for Summer Game Fest, which I didn't know. Oh. Well, enjoy. What what are they? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Gabagool Souls. Oh, Anotria. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I do know what this is. Yeah. Cool. Wait, demo available now. Did I see that? That's not a shadow drop. All right. We're back here live for more Summer Game Fest. The we're first back. Descendant. Powered by Unreal Engine. Oh, I'm excited for this game. Me too, actually. I'm really interested in this. Cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is a grappling hook. Video games have never had those. Sold. <laughs> Release date. That looks awesome. The first descendant will be a Boo, Curious Joy likes Harry Potter. Boo. Wishlisted now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. Wait, what happened to the now, uh, the other lady that Jeff always used? Who's hit indie game oh, Sid. Us, yeah. Uh, I don't know. She, maybe she's only Game Awards because she does Game oh, Awards. Oh, yeah, you might be right. Sloth, she's at home Victoria tugging on a whiskey bottle. Getting <laughs> Jeff didn't use me. Yeah, progressively bitter. This is the one, one paycheck she gets. What's up, gamers? Yeah! <laughs> can, you, can you believe they just gave me lettuce? Woo! <laughs> Phil Spencer. Can we announce something totally fake? Do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, get it! It's a joke! This is fun. This is fun. Something very fun. real we wanted to oh. today. Uh, there's been so He's just doing that millennial shrug. Inner Sloth, Inner Sloth, look, Inner Sloth made a good game, but holy fuck, they get lucky. That pandemic shit, and then yeah. also, in addition, that game Among Us had been out for a long time. And and then all of a sudden, everybody picked up. So I'm not saying they didn't make, they made, didn't make a bad game, they don't deserve it. We made. No, there was, uh, I saw some posts from the, like, community manager being like, this is we did it, and we know exactly how, and oh, really? we're professionals. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I mean that. Maybe they backed off of that. I hope. I, yeah, because I mean, to me, if I worked at Intersloth, I'd be like, thank the Lord them, that that happened. Which was the real plan. I I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. They're publishing. We're really excited. Oh, maybe. And incredibly, incredibly nervous. <laughs> To reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund. Oh, there you go. You. Good for them. And don't worry, Jeff. It has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Hey. Enjoy. Damn, burn them up. Well, good for them. They're taking their money and putting it back into the system. Burn them up. Aww. All right, right on. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know what? Yeah, for like for for Asmin or whatever, I, I can't hate on people that take their success and and make make other games. Yeah, uh, make games real. I've looked at this about. actually. This looks interesting. Hmm. I love these building type games in space. Oh, did you see Star Miner? No, I'm that. It's uh, you like basically have to build onto a ship that you're like piloting through uh, Newtonian gravity fields and stuff oh, sick. to harvest resources and fend off pirates that are attacking you. We just released a demo for one button bosses or boss. Oh, cards. Is there a card system? There cards? I didn't see. It. I'll drink for it, but I believe it. This is exactly where cards would be. Ooh. Yeah, we need more space combat games. Oh, Lawrence, that's like a game you would get high and play and play on for hours. 100%. I've been thinking about replaying all the Wing Commander games. Oh, that's a great idea. Actually. There's no, they don't make them anymore. That's very early. There was a. There was one recently. Shit, I'm blanking on it. It added two on it. Suitors and Falcon Age. 
I never played Thirsty Suitors, I meant to. the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Neat! Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Everspace 2, that was it, thank you. Is a game about uh, Everspace yeah, was... And food for Whatever. Soul. <laughs> okay. I tried it. it was... Everspace 2 is, is kind of a different beast. Yeah. Well, that's cool. What on? <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? Mm. <laughs> Are you excited for that, Lawrence? I'm going to get another beer. Yes, there's going Lawrence, to be aren't you excited for show. Among Us television show? This sneak peek. Come on, guys. Oh, it's a sneak peek. You're going to miss it. Produced by CBS. It's animated, at least. That's something. At least it could be funny. Starring Ryan Gosling. Is I was going to say, Chris Pratt. Sus guy. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Bradley Cooper. What's the... Uh, yeah, I like the fake gameplay. Who's the, who's the hitman guy that was in Top Gun? What's Glenn his name? Powell. Glenn Powell. He's in... Everyone's casting him in everything these days. How did he come out of nowhere? What happened? What ha Top Gun. Was it just Top Gun? Yeah, I mean, yeah. He I mean, was he, good he'd been that. in other stuff too, but like uh, Top Gun Maverick was his sort of breakout. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like you're running the clock because every every oh there you go Patton Oswalt, Elijah, Elijah Wood, Wood Phil Lamar, Wayne Knight. All right. Yeah, Chris Pine. He's in. Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow. Yeah! <laughs> Are they finally going to kiss? A definitive greatest no. collection. No, but they should. It's Pride Month. 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time. Sonic for the should have been a Shadow's shot rule. Powers and gameplay from a standalone. Sonic's campaign. brand new powers. As, well as the official release date announcement. Uh, didn't the open world Sonic not sell very well? I don't know. I, I remember hearing that it did not hit. Uh oh. Uh, oh, okay. Hit its hit its goals. Just remake the old ones. It's really interesting because the movies sort of breathed new life into the video games, which I never would have thought. Huh? But yeah. they totally did. Did you see? Have you seen Knuckles yet? Oh, I haven't watched it yet. No. Uh, I have not been able to bring myself to sit down and watch six hours of Knuckles. I mean, it's like, it's pretty charming. It's good TV. I've heard. Yeah. It's only half. Like maybe a third about knuckles, <laughs> but there you go. What's weird? Oh, got classic Sonic. What's weird is, <laughs> like halfway through, I couldn't escape the feeling that like the protagonist should have been eight years old, but instead it's like a thirty-five <laughs> year old man. Oh, interesting. So yeah, watch the entire show with that in mind. Carrie Elways is in there. That's always fun. Oh, he's great. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody said this is a remaster. Is this a remaster? It looks like it. Yeah, I'll drink for that. All right, sure. More relatable for the audience. You're not wrong. Now there was a point where I was like, all of the emotional catharsis this dude is going through should have happened to a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch it at some point. I've been I've been trying to find anything else to watch. Literally, it's a good sh like, like hunting for anything else other than Knuckles. Watch Knuckles. Shadow, right, a movie coming in December. Too. Woo! Stuff. All right. Woo! <laughs> online survival game Dune Awakening from Funcom. There is Stalker one Channing, small decision isn't it? that unleashed a chain of events. Which set the stage for the story of the play. Oh, I can't experience. wait to play this Let's game. I'm really, I'm actually really excited to play this. What that is? What is this, what is this game? It's an MMO. Do an MMO. Find is a future that never happened. Hmm. I feel like being a rando in the Dune universe is not appealing. One it's not. That's why I can't wait to play it. I'm curious <laughs> to see what it is. Just harvesting spice. Born. Just out there, just I know, <laughs> controlling this giant machine. Yeah. Oh, there's a worm. We gotta go. Until it created me. But I see a narrow. I genuinely would not have called that Dune had become one of the like banner sci-fi properties. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Oh, it's like alternate universe stuff? I have no idea. Dewe exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House of Trade. Son Al Galiba. Battle of Arakeen. <laughs> Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins. And I want everybody to remember, this is just like 
when they showed Star Wars The Old Republic cinematics and you're like, whoa, dude, oh, sick. Yeah. And then you get in and it's just like, press the button yeah. over and over. Three, 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 uh, Hearthstone. <laughs> put credits in my harvester. And wait. <laughs> Craft some stuff. Wait. We we did this bit last last. I think it was Summer Game Fest because it was the same deal. This counts as AAA, but it's definitely not new. So yeah, it's 100%. an open. It's open world, and also it's an existing idea. Nowhere new. That's a phrase I uh, it's a wish list, though, could so not care less. We can drink for the wish list. In August, now it is time to see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. Whoa, quadruple A. We might have a triple A, not open world, not a. Is no. Lightspeed Studios triple A? We have to see the game first. Now we're in the now we're in the game of like. Are they showing this to to hire people or to get funding? <laughs> There's definitely no video game here. No. There's an idea. Are we the plane? I think we're the pilot. Yeah, we're the pilot. We're flying around. It's like Warhawk. A terrestrial flight combat game. Well, Summer Game Fest really is like E3. This is just like what, whenever they've showed E3, they just show a bunch of bullshit, like movie bullshit. And I'm always, always like, what does the game look like? Yeah. What am I going to buy? <clears throat> okay. Cool. It's going to be multiplayer. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay. Hi, hey, there we go. Hey. Uncap game. Uh. Are we going to be able to buy <laughs> different helmets? So I mean, obviously, this, it's a game as a service. RTS oh, David Kim. Oh, that's what this game. Oh, it's an RTS. Well oh my God. Yeah, this is the Blizzard. Be further from the cinematic. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, this is the Blizzard. This is StarCraft II heir apparent. Or what was the other one? Uh, Stormgate. Yeah, David Kim was a Blizzard luminary for oh, a long really? time. Yeah. Okay. He was the des design director on StarCraft II. Yeah, so I'm sure the game will be fun. But don't show me that players. bullshit about flying around. <laughs> First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what this looks like StarCraft 2. Not, not in a bad way. I mean, I love StarCraft. Exactly yeah, they, they're blinking as Protoss. <laughs> will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Endless. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS. Mm. As much as possible, but I like so clicking. Players playing this game You'll be clicking. Experiencing only I promise. Fun parts of playing an RTS game. Mm. So, if you want to learn more about Battle Aces, or if you want to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very soon, there you go, Lawrence. Sign up. Please, uh, I'll do that. Sure to visit our website at play playbattleaces.com. Get in there. Wish I will do that. That's a wish list. I'll try it out. Yeah, that's a wish Thank list. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere uh, unveils the exciting new. At least they show gameplay. Game you know, I would. Yeah, Shadow Drop. Year, the oh, with its oh wait. Parallel destruction. Oh, he was calling out a Shadow Drop from a previous now, show. After dozens of updates in two seasons, but he said the phrase Shadow Drop. Yeah, no, that doesn't count though. Jeff, Jeff is starting next. His his nostalgic for <laughs> for Shadow Summer Game Fest Shadow past. And welcome when he got the big reveals of the finals. Oh, this is definitely an update to an already launched games of service, though. Oh, yeah, this is... The finals is, like, literally dying as fast as it possibly can. That sucks, man. It's a well-made game. It's really interesting, too, because, like, I like the devs, uh, but it's, like, it's just, just exploding. Well, maybe they get so, an, a new update and everybody surges back in. I mean, that's that's their goal. <laughs> that's Feudal their goal. Japan is in, man. I did not ever... Okay, I didn't expect Dune to be like a world-tier sci-fi property. I didn't expect Feudal Japan to be fashionable again. Shogun. Yeah. There's no way they... Maybe. How long ago did Shogun come out? First episode was approximately, what, maybe 14 weeks? There's no way they made this that fast. 18 weeks ago? I... It was cooking... Like, the Feudal Japan thing was cooking a little bit before Shogun. It, it was, but Shogun is what... what Ghost kind of, of Tsushima, there was a Monster Hunter thing. I mean, I'm talking about the world of video games, obviously. Well, yeah, but... 
You know, we all know that television and movies bleed over into games. They really do, yeah. All Capture right. the zeitgeist. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards Kojima? performer, if I do say so oh. myself. Blue Man? Sam Lake from Revenant. Oh, we were, I was hoping it was Kojima. Oh, they've been teasing something. They renamed their Twitter account to Poison Pill Entertainment. Oh, it was a DLC? Maybe? Oh. He's dancing. He's doing the thing. He's Remember dancing. Dance. Everybody loves the dance. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about that song playing the Destiny Thank expansion. You. Hi. Champion of Light. The Herald of Darkness. Now, what if they were the same person? Sam Lake! Let me come <laughs> to stage to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. I like his little tuxedo shirt. Many of you have been posting your Remedy game collection. Please, dear Lord in heaven, buy the video game. It didn't make enough money. Please buy more of it. Yeah. Please, someone buy Alan Wake 2. We need the money. Well, Please. We are excited to Discount? announce physical deluxe edition. Oh, good for them. And oh, you get the coffee cup? Collector's edition. Someone please oh, buy the game. Please. Coming this fall. Otherwise, we won't you be able to make Alan Wake 3. Starting tomorrow. Ooh. Next. Yeah, Alan Wake 2 was really interesting because... Some every every critic like high fived and they're like we did it we, we did, did it. it everyone and then it sold like a million copies. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, also, everyone was talking about how like Epic killed it, but Epic was the one that funded this game. Yeah, what? So. No, it exists yeah. because of Epic. Yeah, it wait, exists wait, because of Epic. So, with three familiar fan favorite playable characters. Oh, in mysterious, terrifying, and playable episodes of Night Springs. What if? Scenarios. Mirrors are more fun it than was television. A chance for us to really go out there, <clears throat> as if we already didn't. Oh, you! Night Springs will be playable. Shadow drop. These. Oh, he's checking his watch. In less than twenty-four hours. Oh, uh, that's a sh that can. I don't. Tomorrow. All right, that counts as a shadow drop. Let's do it. It does. I'm okay, in. I'm in. I'm in. Now we got to do it for Alan Wake. These guys are the uh, the ninja Alan Wake, the Alan Wake devs. Remedy is it Remedy, right? And yeah. uh, Ninja Theory. I want to say are lucky to have jobs. <laughs> I'm serious because they're making fantastic stuff that doesn't make any fucking money. So. Oh, Mr. Door. What is that? It's my monitor telling me to do pixel refresh, even though I, I did it last night. Why is your monitor yelling at you? Because I paid a lot of money for it. There you go. Oh, they have the little like, they have a little like piano trail. Cheers! Cheers! Tonight, spring. To Alan Wake. I'm in danger. Oh, you get to play as Rose. One fan. Finally. Only one who can oh, you got a big, big mouth bass, big Billy bass. For you, my love. Mmm. Oh, the guy from Quantum Break. You get to play as Iceman. Oh, wait. He called him Sean, which means that. He was actually Sam Lake. I never said this, but when we went to play Alan Wake 2, uh, remember when we did like the the uh, the permit the preview? Yeah, he was there playing. No shit. Damn. I saw him playing. I got to see the dude who played Doctor Darling. And I was like, oh hey. I gave him a big smile. I said, Iceman. It's Iceman. Well, I gotta. Wait, is that? Ooh. Who can ever truly I was a, a roguish rabbit hole. I do think Alan Wake will make its money eventually. I hope. That's usually how Remedy I, does I, it, yeah. I really hope that Remedy will release it on Steam at some point. They have to. That's that's like the... They got it, right? The yeah, the... Uh, so, it's so fascinating to compare, like, the movie models to the, the games model. Because movies have been disrupted, but, like, the old model was you release in theaters, you get your money. You release on, on like physical media, oh, VHS, yeah, DVD, video. you get your money, and then you syndicate, and then you get your money. So you get like three bites of the pie. Games are doing that now, too, in a big way, where different they, platforms... Yeah, they shop around, they get an exclusive deal, they get their money, they release on another platform, they get their money, they discount, they get their money. They do a remaster, they get their money. I just really so, hope that it helps. Like, I, again, I hope it happens for, like, Ninja Theory and Remedy, because I, they're fantastic developers that make really great stuff, but they're fucking up in terms of selling it, and I don't know how to sell this game more. That's what's so weird. I don't like it'd be so hard to market it, you know, because I've thought about it because I want to help these people make money. <laughs> oh, this is a, this is an update to an existing games and service. It's a new world, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, turn them. Yeah, the uh, 
Well, what we're seeing right now is is every publisher is trying to min-max the margin as hard as they can, which is what's the cheapest game we can That's make right, that'll return the most money. That's right, yeah. That sounds obvious. But back, like, before Spider-Man 2, honestly, it was like the oh, yeah. more you invested in a game, the more it sold. Right. Kind of. Right. Uh, and then it's like... If you're watching the game done changed. TikTok live right now, you can comment each SR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok. That's for you. And speaking specifically, of Star Lawrence. Star Lawrence. Star yeah, do it. Latest space fantasy RPG. I want to see the chat. It's version 2.3 special program. Oh, it's because it's getting spammed right now. That's really smart because TikTok is all about engagement. So if you make people spam the chat, it's going to like vulture your stream. Clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. This is an update. <clears throat> To Honkai Star Rail. I'm gonna get more ice and drink. Hold on. Go for it. You're leaving during Honkai Star Rail? <clears throat> so wait a minute. Oh, Summer Game Fest Live. There we go. Comment her. They put the text on screen. Alright, here we go. HSR. Bang. Where's my where's my where's my reward? There's a lot of hearts exploding right now. Where's my reward? Give me my gems! <laughs> Honkai Star Rail is actually pretty legit. No, I've heard it's great. The writing in it is kind of bananas. It's like pretty psychedelic sci-fi. I've heard it's great. Yeah. It's it's like kind of uh, what is it? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it gets pretty absurdist and pretty silly. Like, humanity got so evolved that things got kind of dumb, essentially. Because in the end, we will wake from our dreams. We will. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh... I did, I remember a couple of years ago, there was a cultural note from the, like, Ministry of Media in China. It was essentially like, Chinese developers are making games that aren't very Chinese. Like, they they were talking about Genshin, basically, where, like, this is Japan. Like, you're making an, an oh! Yeah, this is, uh, they're going free to play. Oh, I that's, mean. that's a really smart idea. Well, but uh, they, you heard about all the whole legal troubles they had, right? Dark and Darker. Oh, like, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, there's a bunch of really interesting legal troubles they went through. But yeah, there's uh it's interesting to see Japanese devs or sorry, Chinese devs now putting a bunch of very Chinese shit in their games because they were told to. Oh, interesting. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's uh I mean, you just saw it with Honkai Star Rail, which is a science fiction game, but there's a very traditionally dressed character. Yeah. And then I just got done playing Wuthering Waves, which is a Oh yeah, that's... very Chinese infused yeah. game. Yeah, and it's blowing up too. Not in a bad way, by the way. No, 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 no. I think it was like I remember that comment was prompted by Kung Fu Panda. Uh, a little bit. They oh. were like, why are other countries making better Chinese media than our own? That's really interesting. Yeah. Did you ever play this game? Not yet. Dark, uh, Dark and Darker is... It's my thing, though. One of the most frustrating video games I've ever played, because it's a nightmare to do anything. Like, I swing an axe or whatever. you can see the uh, Steel Battalion controller back here. But yeah. Well, but I mean, like, oh, with, okay. like standard mouse and keyboard. Like mm. everything you do is is so slow. And I like if you like that, then you'll love it. There you have it. <laughs> forgiving fantasy FPS dungeon PvPVE adventure. Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store. They've done it. Today. Jeff's looking good. All right. Yeah, he is looking Once good. Jeff's looking good. Here in person at the YouTube good for him. Theater, and we thank you for that. Ah, and Discover. Show, four lucky fans Who's there in person? Kojima? VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket upgrade. Who's there? Are they Discover focusing on the empty seats? VIP oh. To be treated like one. All right, now oh, those are the VIPs. The release date for Capcom's How much did Discover pay for that? Path of the Goddess. Although fucking legit to lock down some money from a financial institution for a game showcase? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is Capcom. This is like a new game. Feudal Japan? Feudal Japan should have been a rule. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, is this a triple A? Oh, it's pretty. Oh. Hey? Huh? Oh, it's it's like strategy? Oh, oh no. you're a little wisp. Oh. 
I gotta get some water, but I don't want to leave. You're gonna miss out on this. I'm not going to miss out on this. Yeah, is it, I think it is strategy. I think it's like, yeah. Yeah, you like, you control different characters and run around the battlefield. I don't see a card system. Yeah, no cards. Huh, that's soon. Oh wait, yeah, it is. Weird, okay. Oh, I know what that is, yes. Okay. Oh, is this the Hyperlight game? Uh, Hyperlight, not Drifter. What is it? Yeah. Hyperlight. Hyperlight World. Breaker. Hyper Breaker. Breaker. That's what it is. Thank Man, you. that's a cool name. Breaker is a cool word. <laughs> you know what's not a cool word? Veil Guard. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dreadwolf <laughs> is cool. Dreadwolf is, Dreadwolf is cool. Uh, Veil Guard is not. Veil Guard. Yeah, you're right. You never want that many vowels in a row. Guard. Yeah, dead fire. Breaker. Cool. Wish no, that's not whistless. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're, you're safe to yeah. Party animals. You're safe to do it. Summer games and service fast. I'm telling you guys. Dragon Age 4 is going to be awful? No! No! Come on, guys. Dragon Age is going to be great. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Just imagine how great it will be. Dragon Age is going to be like new Star Wars and that it's kind of written by fans that are trying to recreate something. That, oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's never a good, uh, never good recipe. But maybe it'll be good. Yeah, leave Dragon Age alone. Stop being so mean. Party Animals is a streamer bait? No, this is not streamer bait. Party Animals is really fun. No, it's Party Animals. Oh, I like this logo. Hey, it's this guy. Oh my gosh, Tim Robinson. It's time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations. This is the first game he's ever marketed? Think sure to him, Corp. Yeah, I think you're right. And the city of San Francisco. What's happening? Have never been better. Things are going great here. <laughs> we have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at M Corp loves this town. We think this town rules. I don't know if they're ripping on layoffs. The town that rules. I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. Yeah, maybe they are. That makes my whole family sick to their. This is probably AAA too, because they paid for this dude. Toilet for weeks, because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town. All those lies. Mm. Everyone in M Corp is really good. Stop it's been a while since we had a new funny man on the scene. Look around. I mean, yeah, it's the Tim and Eric bit, but yes. When you're hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Come on, faster. Ah. That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. Everybody keeps saying skate. This is skate. And we are not. Going I don't know if that's actually true or not. Boy, if oh. EA is making this, that would be rich. Yeah, that would be super rich. <laughs> Creative accounting is a good phrase. Oh, uh, we got an ARG on our oh, hands, ARG? Hmm, huh? we're having fun. All right, uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest. And now let's so is that skate? That's Sam skate, huh? Amsterdam for a skate. New look at skate. From skate. EA. Okay, so skate is after that. Hey, Jeff. There we go. Doing, wow, this is from EA. Oh. Could they be any more Some really bad so unaware? EA, EA hasn't yeah, shuttered a dev in a while. But they did, I mean, they, I think they did just participate in layoffs, so. Well, I... Mm-hmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, okay, good. If that was it, that would be a bummer, but. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they're demonstrating you can like add objects while people are playing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? The dude was just rolling as a ball. 
You got a Sonic dude That's doing a skinny. spin dash. Come on, you can do whatever you want. So what? Okay. So here's the thing. That was a small amount of gameplay footage, but it communicated a lot about the features in the game. That's right. It did. I agree. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play Skate on console in the near future. Mm, we love, love. We've done it. Very near exciting. Future. Very exciting. That is adorable, deadly. Imagine having to write that. million players worldwide. <laughs> no release date. What do I say? Right. What near the fuck future. do I say? Near future. Oh, that's an update I mean, to a gas. Look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. Uh, a whole new island is coming. Oh my god. Right, I'm, I'm swigging for an update to an existing... Are we supposed to? Update trailer to already launch games of service? Oh yeah, you're right. Does, this, does Power count as a game of service? Uh, you know what? It doesn't. I don't think it does. It doesn't, but I will drink for it. Yeah, why not? No, this is not a Feudal game Japan! Because you can pay a flat fee and do whatever you want. Why did I not have Feudal Japan as a rule? <laughs> Second strand type game. We're just saying any video game is a strand type video game. If it has co-op, it's strand. Except Death Stranding didn't have co-ops. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. So, strand type, honestly, is uh, just a pseudonym for an introvert game. And Death, Where, Death Stranding 2 doesn't have co-op, right? I, I hope not. Damn, I wish that it did. That'd be so cool. Oh. Two dudes carrying packages. Death Stranding, like, I, tr I really tried. I played about 10 hours of that game. Couldn't do it. I was just like, nah, That's fair. We're good. Yeah, it's a... We're good. It's a vibe. And then they were like, yeah, there's 30 more hours left. And I was like, nah. You didn't get to Princess Beach, huh? No, thank you. I'm your Princess Beach. Remember that? Remember that thing? No, yeah. I didn't get there, I don't think. When fucking Sam Bridges found out that his mom was also the president, was also his <laughs> daughter or something? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't remember. And then he went into the like nightmare World War One hellscape to reconnect with his dad. That sounds great. I'm, I would much rather you explain the story to me than actually play it. I was on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, what was the deal with Mads? from Valorant. Yay! That's a game of that service, is definitely baby. Definitely an update to a game of service. Although I don't, we haven't got a trailer yet, but I'm sure we will. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, everyone. you're welcome. Since 2020, we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the value. What if somebody texted him like a the picture of a butthole right now? You make while all eyes oh, I wish I, light up. I wish I knew him. Yeah. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own value. How do you feel about Valorant, Bruce? And today, Counter Strike. The stage is set to welcome. That's what it is. Do you like Counter Strike? Players, let's take a look. I don't know. I, I can't tell you that I like Counter. I've been playing Counter Strike for twenty years. That's the most honest answer I think. You so I don't know that I can that. tell you that I like it. I don't it, know. But I'm playing it. I've been playing it for so long that at this point it's like whatever. It's like Overwatch. Like yeah. And Team Fortress Two. Like I I could say at one point I really did like that game, but now I'm kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's it's funny you mentioned that when you said that it locked something in my head. Counter-Strike is the first compulsory game I think that ever existed. Which yeah, is, yeah. You keep playing it even though you're not having fun. Yeah, and I don't... And I think the older I've gotten, the more I realize I don't like those games. So I'm kind of like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I... I can't remember when, when the spell was broken with Counter-Strike, but... Overwatch... I specifically remember Overwatch, because I had played like three hours and I was like, I did not have any fun. Not for one good match. Yeah. I never felt good, so I'm gonna stop. And I uninstalled it. And I remember that with League of Legends. I actually, when that first came out, I played League with yeah. friends of mine, played an hour and a half match, hated it, and I was like, I'm never going to play this again. Like this doesn't. This wasn't fun, dude. So I had such a negative experience with League. I can't even watch Arcane. Really? Oh, Arcane's I great. Arcane is amazing. Huh? Let me tell you, like. Heartbreaking. There are times where I hear a song and I'm like, that's pretty good. And Dude, it turns out it's a fucking theme for an asshole in League of Legends, and oh, then yeah. I have to swear it off. It's gone. <laughs> Sorry. Ar you should watch Arcane. Arcane's a great television I show. I will never. Yeah. It's really good. I won't. <laughs> never ever. League of Legends is dead to me, and anything connected to it is toxic. <laughs> the aggravating thing is, Steph was watching Arcane, and I walked in and I was like, what is this? What is it's so good. It's pretty so fucking good. good. Yeah, and then so she good. said it's Arcane, and I was like, nope. And I, I just left the room. <laughs> I'm not prejudiced against most things. You're prejudiced against that. I am fully prejudiced against yeah. League of Legends. 
and anything connected with it. The yeah, arcade's great. Uh, season two's coming out soon. <sighs> and I won't watch I'm it. I'm very excited. And everyone's going to say it's great because it's going to have Imagine that Dragons in it somewhere. <laughs> core tactic. Boom. Game. Hey! Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, my <laughs> enemy. You know what's weird is Imagine Dragons ever was like, oh, fuck, League of Legends, Imagine Dragons theme song. I was like, that this song is pretty fucking this good, This show's going to be terrible. And then I watched it, I was like, fuck, it's so good. That song's good. That the song's show's, good the song. opening's good. The song is good. The show's good. All of it's good. And I the, wanted to hate that show and I couldn't. So what pisses me off too is I've been waiting for like the hot single with like a video game so we can, oh, it's yeah. like, oh, it's hot single summer. And yeah, enemy was that, but I can't, I can't do it. Anna Donlin. Wait, what? Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. Oh, this is uh, one of my live from this thing that we produce for millions of dollars. Please watch. Please, dear Lord in heaven, watch the esports. Otherwise, we'll die. The Valorant World Finals. Bringing Valorant to players all around Please, the world. Please, so someone watch. Where I'm currently a Valorant Masters, one of our... Arcane is peak media. Mm. People said uh, Godzilla Minus One was peak media. Joy Boy has been basically trolling the entire time. I've been watching so? Joy Boy. I, I, I definitely, I definitely, ah, I definitely been trolling me for for oh, okay. damn sure. All right. We hope you'll join us. All right, for well, damn sure. Okay, all right. You're on my you're on my list. We'll uh, see. You don't have to be on Lawrence's <laughs> list, but they're definitely on my list. So. All right. Yeah. I also resent the fact. I fully resent the fact that they just take League of Legends characters and just like reboot them. Bullshit. Why do you hate that? Because they should have done it right the first time or make a new character. <laughs> They should have done it right the first time. Like Jinx is her like story has they been like rebooted Joy like eight doing times. Doing it right now. There, there you go. That's not at all what I did. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Doing it right now. Hmm. Hey, I look. I just provide the evidence. There's an interesting point in there, though. I think you could probably compare the the artistic merit of anime to Star Wars pretty oh, absolutely. equivalently. Absolutely, and I do. In the in the way that like <laughs> yeah. people bump their expectations down when they're watching a Star Wars thing. And I do. Yeah. And all the time. Bruce is one of the few people I in the entire world that can actually, like, couch his, his reception of media appropriately. I really try. You don't have the anime lens, you don't have the Star Wars lens. Well, the, the thing I've been saying recently with Star Wars is that, like, Acolyte, for example, is a show that I would never recommend. Ever. Mm. But I watched it and went, like, whatever. Smart. Sure. <laughs> it's fine. And if somebody's like, what, well, should I watch it? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you that. Because I don't know. It's like um, me with Speed Racer. I love that movie. Oh, yes. I'll never tell anyone. Yeah, to watch Speed Racer is a great example of that. Yeah, yeah. Because that's a, that's a movie you you can be like if you happen to watch it at the right time in your life and the right evening, you might like it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like if you have a have special brain, yeah, Ryan, it'll work for you. At, thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with. But us. like Andor, I can recommend to anybody. Yeah, yeah like, Andor. Is this legit. is a good television show made by people that know how to make television. Like, it's great. You know, like. Sign up for there aren't many shows like that. Dash pads. Although they got fucked. Like they're getting they're getting dicked over in California. Why? Because so there's like an ordinance in California that's on the deck to amazing voice actor. Oh young! Hey, hey. Games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Wow, to get shouted out. I know. He's gonna be voicing a character in a movie. Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional... <laughs> Jeff is like, he's he's doing stuff. And Yang's like, what? <laughs> I, I guess I am. Exclusive first look. Check this out. So now we have a trailer for a Pixar movie. Welcome to your eternal fate. It's in... Oh, that shot was in like 720p. Oh, on purpose, yeah. Oh, because he's a video game man. I had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero. But darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished. Is this here. a why are they here? This trailer is a why is it here? I would agree. But I don't think that that hits the... I mean, I'll drink. It's just a minor drink. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Whatever. I mean, you know what? Young has been doing video game, video game commentary for a long time. What are my grievances with Acolyte? I can't. The problem is, I, I don't, I can't uh, elaborate it's my spoiler grievances. base. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't elaborate my grievances with Acolyte because I don't want to spoil anything. So I can talk about it weeks later, but like, I just can't. I'm sorry. I really like this look. I really like the idea of a character being like lower resolution than everyone else. Pixar does a really good job at that. They they do that with other other characters and other like Toy Story and stuff like that. They, Samsung just released oh, Samsung. QR code. Fuck, man. Oh, yeah, a QR code. Scan the QR code wow, that's the first QR we've got, isn't it? Samsung credit. Mm -hmm. You purchased through June 17th, plus a chance to win $5,000. <sighs> Joke's on you, Samsung. I already bought a new monitor. And it wasn't Samsung. 2024! 
Oh boy, we are deep in the Jeff's cashing the checks era. <laughs> this is $250,000 per 30 seconds. Uh, good for him. Fucking yeah, yeah. get paid, bro. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, but the good news is this is the lull. This is the act two lull. And then it's gonna whoosh right up. <laughs> no, it's to not. The end. A, it's three forty-five. There's, there's fifteen minutes left. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> it's almost over. Yeah, quality, no problem. No, his his big reveal right at the end. There's not one more you. thing. He said over and over he doesn't do the one more thing. Well, no, I don't mean one more thing. I mean like his his show ender. Who are you? <laughs> Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. I drink. Hey, is that uh, wow? That's everybody. Christina Ricci. Yeah, they got them all. Fun. Come on, guys. Will Arnett, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, they they've been like. I've been seeing ads for this game on on every what social game media is service. This? They've been saturating it. I every time oh, I see it, it I scroll as fast as I can because I don't want it to get into my brain. Is this Brawl Stars? Yeah. No. What is it? I don't know. It's a new thing. It's a new mobile game. To few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. Just a do you think? Do you think we'll get to oh, that point clans. where we can like cash checks to be a, a goofy guy in a mobile game? Thing? Never. <laughs> Never in a million years. We're gonna be working very hard for a long time. Damn. But what if we made like a showcase and <laughs> we had the Rock like show up and hawk his energy drink? Who do we have to stand next to so that people think we're a big deal? Young. Yeah, you're right. I chatted with him a bit at the Armored Core 6 preview. Oh, he's great. We might see him at the at the mixer. Yeah, yeah. Wow, they're playing like Ots Rock. Nickelback. These clowns. I've never felt more targeted. <laughs> or default or whatever the fuck. Who, who made that song? Or it's all the same shit. Hot, is that Dolph? That's Dolph. Stone Sour. Heart we're breaking. Wait, Stone Sour did it that. It was Nickelback. It was Nickelback. Yeah. They did that song that f that feels like a ripoff of Pink Floyd. Uh, hey, you that was a fun cutaway. Go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. It's been a while. That's stained. Oh. Stone Sour. Comfortably, no, numb. No, 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 no. I don't know. I had that MP3 like 20 years ago. Good boy. Here. So wait, what's the concept of this ad? Some dudes fought in a parking lot like we, Anchorman. We've been talking over it. That's on us. Mm. That's on us. Fair. I'm actually really surprised. This was this this one cost probably a million dollars because what were we at a minute? Maybe longer. Jeff charges five hundred five hundred thousand a minute. Squad busters. We could we could what? do this, couldn't we? We could produce this. I mean, easily, yeah. All right, please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Ken Monster Jones here. series producer, Never mind. Oh. Mr. Ryozo Tujimoto. <laughs> and if I had a rule for <laughs> feudal Japan, we'd be drinking right now. <laughs> Actually, wait, that was their other one. <laughs> Capcom Supremacy, baby. <laughs> Capcom presents. <laughs> Remember when Capcom did their own press conference? Yeah. They, they did a couple of years. A few. Yeah. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Hello, we'll get back to it. We've prepared a very special trailer today for summer. This uh, looks fun. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very this looks fun. large monster. It genuinely, like, it gives me life that Capcom is back on top. No, Dragon's Dogma had microtransactions, and you should hate them. I don't. I don't. Well, you should. Also... Capcom sold Dragon's Dogma 2 for like 2.1 million units, and they're like, hell yeah, that's pretty good. So, no, microtransactions. There's a company out there that can make money off of selling a game for 2 million units at that production level. Please live forever and keep <laughs> making those games. For real, I've never seen an instance of like gamers a, like biting off their own hand than attacking Dragon's Dogma 2 for DLC. No, I love Capcom. I'm I'm, I'm joking around. I'm, mm. I loved Dragon's Dogma, and I yeah. I love the I, like I wanted to play it forever. I loved it. It was great. And PC. Bruce is joking. Bruce is just joking. Just joking around. Just joshing. I don't give a fuck about microtransactions. 
But here's the if Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to make money at 2 million units, maybe it needs to have some extra purchases that you as a player don't have to care about ever. Right, exactly. Man, the V-neck with the, with the blazer. Hmm? For Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first. No, I don't give a fuck about microtransactions because I'm an adult <laughs> who doesn't spend money on them. Thank you. It's not big baller. I don't give two shits about them. Yeah. You just. Bro, you just, like, do a little fucking uh, free will. Choose to not care. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Bruce. Jeez. I feel like the subtext of a bunch of gamer uh, aggravation is that they are surrendering their free will to companies. Which, is, yeah. If you offer it to buy, I have to. So don't offer it, you bastard. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's so weird. Or just be an adult and say, you can't do this alone. I won't buy it. I'll enjoy the game. We need to shake them off. And I will sleep the uncomplicated sleep of an adult with free will. Watch out for that clock. I will draw a tire. So it's like multiple monsters at once? Or maybe these like are smaller monsters? Yeah. Oh, you can attack while you're mounted. Okay. Hmm. They got on the, the sand thing. I guess desert is the other fashionable setting. Is it really? Already? Right now? Because it's all video games? Desert? We got dodges. We got dodges well mounted. Oh, okay. Sick. Hmm. Don't worry, the hunter is here. Just watch. People are all about that new character. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, with like the fade yeah. and the blonde hair. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There's a reflection that implies water. <laughs> But they're in the desert, Bruce. What's that all As about? As you burp. <laughs> hey, Rios, son, we will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from S Game wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish Remember, art. Did it? Well, did it? I'm to share Remember that? Brand new trailer. For I thought it was a wishlist. No, it was a wishlist. All real game. Did it wow us? Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade Zero. Okay, this is the show ender, huh? This has got to be better than Lego Horizon. Beetle Japan. Well, this is a this is a not existing IP. Well, yeah, but it's not new. Left. Oh, Jeff they announced Jeff it. Jeff yeah, it off, you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. The face of this is here. Don't don't go up there. Turn back. Hmm. Is this the is this the two thousands nostalgia of having no color? <laughs> I hate that actually. Utterly desaturated. I mean it it looks cool. Yeah, is this more of a Sekiro or more of a ghost of Sushi? I wonder. I'm trying to figure out. We got a Sagger meter, we got a health bar. Uh, yeah, I mean the monster design looks great. Okay. Commander Cleave. Yeah, Neo, maybe. Wolong was fun. I enjoyed Wolong. So it seems like you can parry out of your attacks? What are you, what are you showing me here? What are I... We got QTEs. Okay. That camera angle's bizarre yeah, for gameplay. Weird. To me, that feels like they're doing a special move of some sort, but... Yeah, it's like a canned thing. Okay. That looked cool, I guess. Cool. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest. Yeah, I don't know. The, uh, Thanks to Joy for joining us. It looked us. cool, but like it's hard to imagine that gameplay with somebody actually hitting buttons. Happy Summer Game Fest. What do you mean, why? Because it was too fluid. Oh, oh. It was like, ding, 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 ding. Like, there was no, there was no visible fork path where somebody hit the right or the wrong button. Including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking some... I'm excited for Devolver. ...for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember... Bye, Jeff. ...starts right now. Do not leave. What's next? Day of the Devs. I right? guess Day of the Devs. Yeah, Day of the Devs. Unless we want to watch something else. Uh, I can't remember if Day of the Devs is boring or not. It's pretty long-winded. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot of interviews with indie devs. Like, an individual indie game will get like a 30-minute 30, 30 spot. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go pee. You can decide. I don't go care. Go for it. I don't, I don't care what it is. Yeah. Go so, what? We've hit a... We've hit a uh, Wow, they didn't wait. Good for them. And it got way louder. So now we watch Day of the Devs. Or... My vote is always the throwback. Wait, that was a giraffe vomiting. Killer Bean? It's Killer Bean. Can I restream Killer Bean without incident? I think so. Devolver's after Day of the Devs, yes. Devolver... Oh yeah, good.